So today, um, the former residential director who's since advanced in the organization, is in a higher position now, uh, for the Wayside Youth and Family Support Network, uh, was on the witness stand. She was the residential director from 2012 to 2015, which includes the time that, that Justina was uh, at the facility. And yeah, I'm being blocked left, right, and uh, up and down in terms of uh, asking about matters of, of substance. Um, and uh, so this, this director did this long song and dance kind of about how great Wayside is, that they're licensed and accredited and, you know, all that. And, you know, kind of my retort to that is go look at the Judge Rottenberg Center in Massachusetts and what they do to kids. Um, they employ electric shock devices, uh, basically like taser devices that kids have to wear around the campus. And uh, one staff member got caught just basically holding the shock button down for like 40 minutes while a kid, an autistic kid was riding around on the ground in agony. Um, Anderson Cooper actually ended up covering that incident in a video called he called Shocking Treatment. And that's available at the other resources page of the Shut Logan River website. And I'll ask David to include a link on uh, the notes here to that video. So licensing and accreditation really don't mean everything that you would like for them to mean. Uh, in regards to these facilities, in regards to what they, what some of them actually do to children. Um, so while this this residential director was on on the witness stand, after she had done her, uh, you know, her long song and dance, uh, I'll call it, um, trying to play the victim uh, instead of you know just seeing the girl in the wheelchair who's not able to walk since she left that place, right, who's the actual victim here. Um, that's right. That's just that's just. When people who victimize others play the victim, that really bothers me. Um, especially when it's a kid, you know. So I'm just kind of shocked at the gall, I think, more than anything else. Um, during cross-examination of this residential director at Wayside, uh, my lawyer asked her about a phone call that went from Wayside. Now, not actually from a Wayside landline or from a Wayside cell phone. This is a phone call from Justina's family to the police reporting an incident that Justina had detailed. In this incident, Justina was nude in the shower and a Wayside staff member who she would later identify as a personal care assistant uh, ripped open the shower curtain and verbally assaulted Justina, or appears to have verbally assaulted Justina, according to Justina and according to the definition of assault under Massachusetts law. Um, Justina's family called the police. The police uh, apparently came and did a wellness check based on what this witness has said, but then uh, didn't appear to do anything for Justina after that. Um, this incident got covered by uh, Channel 5 News here in Boston. And if, if we can, I will have Dana include uh, a link to that, to their coverage. And then um, I'm also going to have her uh, include in the notes here um, a video that Justina's sister did about this wayside shower incident that she uploaded to YouTube. And then a later interview Justina did. It's the, the Bo Berman interview the day after she goes home. And, and Bo won two back-to-back -back Edward R. Murrow awards for his coverage of Justina's case, which were very, very well deserved. Um, and Justina talks about this incident in her own words in that video with Bo after she finally goes goes home. And You know, so this is what, uh, you know, if anyone ever ends up getting this, this transcript, right, the wayside person did not want to detail what was going on here. So my jury didn't hear this. And my lawyer, quite frankly, is too scared to ask. Um, uh, but I wanted the world to know. And so now you can, you can click these links and you can see the truth.